Alright, did I introduce myself? I don't know. I need to just like hold up a card or something. It's too much to remember, quite honestly. But thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button. Okay, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I'm Amira. That is she. Hello, my loves. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira, if you don't know. If you do know. <laughs> Thanks for knowing. <laughs> um, thank you guys for being here. I was feeling froggy today. Uh, this is also my second attempt at this video, this message. Um, I think it's mostly because I don't know what I'm supposed to be talking about. As I said in my first attempt at recording, I intended to come in here and meditate and write and take notes and um, have a place to start but that's not really what's going on okay maybe that is how you're feeling right now um feeling like you're kind of you're starting over from scratch or doing something from scratch or you don't have an i mean where is there an instruction manual unless you buy something from the stove child okay and it was manufactured by somebody else but you're manufacturing your own life you are the creator of your own experiences and existence and so there is no one fit uh instructional manual you have to figure this out for yourself okay i'm hearing boundaries yeah 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 you know <laughs> Oh, those good old boundaries. Those good old boundaries. We need them. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of us don't have the appropriate boundaries set for ourselves, uh, within ourselves, or for the people around us, the things around us. But it's because we're not taught. Okay? It's important for parents to have boundaries with their children to teach. Okay. It's important to teach your child directly how to set boundaries for themselves. They also are entitled to have boundaries with you. <laughs> Hard to hear, ain't it? Yeah, it's the truth though. Um, so that they can then move forward and have the positive existence that they desire as adults. Boundaries, yeah, boundaries are a tough one. But yeah, so you may find yourself in a situation right now. Okay, I don't know why I'm in, thank you. I'm inclined to just stop and say thank you. I feel like I thanked you already, but I don't know. Maybe you need to tell somebody thank you. Okay, maybe they need to hear it. Maybe you haven't told them enough or with the right words or directly or yeah, somebody's ashamed to say thank you is what I'm getting. Hmm. Let's sit with that for a second. Ashamed to say thank you. Wow. All right, let's see. That was a lot of messages, but that's what happens when you when you just kind of go with the flow and go from scratch, right? Nobody could write my script. I had no idea I was recording today, and never in however many blue moons would I think that I would be recording back to back, trying again. But here I am. Um, okay, maybe that's what you need to do. I'm hearing reset your goals. Yeah, Virgo, tenth house, and Mars. Wow, somebody's really working hard here. You have a lot of work. You're you're working a lot or working up to something big or you're really working to change your life, your behaviors, your habits, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of discipline that I'm seeing here. Goodness gracious, like a little work in me <laughs> or an ant. Oh, wow. Was that yesterday I was Yesterday I was getting something about ants or um, bees. Yeah, it's the work ethic. Okay, it's the it's also the community. It's the the idea that they come together. They understand one another. They respect one another. They trust one another. They understand how 
the different pieces and people contribute to the patterns and the, and the growth of the, the whole thing, okay? The family unit, the relationship, the organization, whatever we're talking about here, I, I, apparently it has to do with relationships as well. So yeah, your relation, the relationships in your life, maybe you're working to, to repair relationships, especially specifically the, um, the masculine, Okay, that could be your masculine energy or your father figure or you as a father. I'm not sure whatever that is. Okay, but the masculine energy or somebody's this this I feel like somebody is in masculine energy right now. That's that's how you're creating. Okay, I bet we create out of anyway. Anyway. <laughs> okay, what else? beautiful though I'm 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 loving what I'm seeing I feel like somebody is like re yeah you're recreating your goals your your existence but first we have to take accountability first we have to understand what we have done how we have lived from why am I wanting to say this in like an old English way or okay that could be like um a religious thing maybe you're um yeah I was getting that before the reading actually um, you could be exploring new religions or reclassifying how you identify yourself spiritually, spiritually, let's not go off on that tangent. Um, anyway, all right, I lost my train of thought. So what else spirit? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like somebody needs to celebrate themselves here. You're doing a good job. You, you're working hard. You've been you've been at this a while or you're really I feel like you're pinpointing the things that you need to pinpoint and making the changes that you need to make. Mars. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday came up in the last reading. Somebody's like just observing this opportunity like mm, I'm not sure. Let me let me just look at it a little bit longer or let me see how I feel on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. So there's some kind of waiting period here or some kind of delay that I was picking up in the last reading. Yeah. There's something that somebody wants here that they're... It's like delayed gratification. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like are you quitting... Are you quitting smoking or drugging or drinking or some other desire? I feel like somebody has delayed their gratification. Yeah, congratulations. That's beautiful. You may also be protect, um, what? Protecting? Okay. Yeah, because it feels like a, uh, for some of you, this could be like a sexual energy. And um, again, that is the creative space. So you may be um, reapplying your sexual energy here, but okay, there's so many messages. At the core of it, it's like instead of instant gratification, I have learned to delay my gratification. So that can be on varying levels, apply it where it fits. I, I feel like I already gave enough examples. I don't know. All right. Anything else? Yeah, please celebrate yourself. <laughs> celebrate yourself. Don't miss out on that. Yeah, at the end of the other reading we for the, uh, what was that? Um, what did I ask for? Not advice. It was like um, the supportive energy or something like that. All right, close the messages of encouragement for the folks, please. Justice and the Four of Wands. I mean, what else do we need here, huh? What else do we need here, huh? Whatever's been unclear is going to be made clear. The Empress is here as well. Okay. I feel like somebody has been spending time exploring options, trying to... I'm hearing assert themselves. That's not what Amira was trying to say originally. Trying to... Um, discern different paths okay different options what happens if i go down this or choose that or 
accept this opportunity or that opportunity or something like that. Something like this has been going on, I feel like for a while, for some time. But there's a need for you to make a move. You have to choose. This this person in the Seven of Cups is sitting there um, with the options toward them, you know. You still have to choose one where you're going to place your energy. What aligns with you. Anyway, <laughs> justice. We'll see how I feel about editing this stuff in. <laughs> okay. Anyway, celebrate your wins. Okay, you have justice coming in. You're you you are creating this though. You're causing this because of your hard work. This is your this is your good karma to reap. Don't miss those. Um, yeah, don't miss those uh, opportunities or. I don't know, opportunities doesn't feel like the right word. I'm getting the visual of like a video game. <laughs> Maybe you're a gamer, you play video games or, you know. Um, yeah, we were already talking about children. There's also some energy of children here. So this could have to do with that for some of you, but I'm getting the image of like on a video game, um, let's say Mario. Um, when you're going and going and going and going in the hills and whatnot, jumping over things, like you have to jump at the right time to catch the things in the air, to get the coins, to get the points, okay? If you don't, if you don't, you don't. But that was yours, like, <laughs> that was yours. And now it's just back there. Nobody else can, it's just gonna disintegrate after that. Like, don't miss your opportunities. This is yours. Celebrate yourself, hello. Celebrate yourself, even if it's just five um, points, okay? Um, what else? Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, being on the internet is different for me. <laughs> And transparency is different. It's not comfortable. It's gotten to be more comfortable over the years. Um, but, you know, I'm only here to support and give. And I heard surprise, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, maybe. Do I surprise you? Maybe I surprise you sometimes, or I surprise people with the things I say or do, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm only here to give of myself. Otherwise, what are we doing? Otherwise, it's wasted, yeah. I can't miss this opportunity. Oh, gosh, that's so crazy. That's crazy, okay. What else? Um, yeah, I'm hearing like religious. Here it is. One fell, one second. Oh, child, okay. <laughs> Embuya Nahanda. Radical rebirth. <laughs> Almost cussed. What? Okay, I'm not gonna cuss. <laughs> not today, anyway. Yeah, I'm seeing a cigarette. Did you quit smoking or somebody is quitting or cutting down or maybe changing what you smoke or how you smoke or when you smoke or um, some bad habit here or something like that? <laughs> I mean, who's to say a habit is bad except for you? Only you can define that and, and, and make the changes for yourself if that's what you decide to do. And that's what this is here. So maybe you had some kind of interference with somebody who was trying to convince you. All right, yeah, what's this? All right, okay. I feel like, yeah, boundaries, okay? You're having to set a boundary here with somebody or yourself, okay? There's some energy here, alchemy. Okay, Queen Nefertiti. Be brave and honest. Hmm. Somebody's a little pushy. Somebody wants you to change or be different or do something different or 
this is you fighting against yourself anyway i feel like there's a rebirth here it is radical whatever but this is what somebody needs I mean, you know maybe this is what you need for yourself you also have the number five yeah change five is the number of change it's also the number of chaos confusion you know but it's the number it's all it, it means like you know let me figure out what i stand on what i stand for and who stands with me so here we are it's gonna be what it's gonna be conflict Okay, that's probably why you have this Mars showing up even more so because you've had to fight for something. You've had to fight for yourself or for your stability or for your your safety, your security, or fight for your goals, your vision, your reputation, especially. All right, yeah. Yeah, you're having to stand up for yourself here. You're going to have to say something clearly, directly, straight in a straightforward way to somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Have you experienced this already? Somebody might be surprised, or 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 or, or this, or is this you? You're surprised. You're surprised. Okay, you may be surprised how somebody. Okay, is this your child? <laughs> or something that could be okay. Any or or um a less mature energy or I don't know. I feel like you're surprised that somebody stands up to you, or or somebody's surprised that you stand up to them, or something like that. Okay, or ask for space or sets a boundary. There's a boundary here. I don't want to pull too much. I really don't. Um, let's just pull five tarot cards. <laughs> okay. I heard let bygones be bygones. I'm trying to break your wrist. The five of swords. And this dreaded seven of cups that kept showing up in the other space. Is somebody a model or so a dancer? You could be a model, a dancer. I'm also hearing a judge, so that's very different. Maybe or maybe you judge these um like judge models or judge dancers or um yeah. There's some kind of critical aspect to what you do. I'm not sure why that's coming through, why that's coming out, but I guess it's a message for somebody. All right, five cards here for this. Tell us more, more details. Help us to understand, get clarity. First, you have to trust yourself. Okay. What does it mean to trust yourself? Well, first you have to get down to the nitty gritty of what do you value? What do you believe? What do you know? What do you know? What do you want? <laughs> What's your vision? What do you see for your future? Okay. What's the end goal? Yeah. Once you define your end goals, then you can determine the path. You can also determine who belongs on that path with you and who does not. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Five cards, please. Well, it's interesting. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And the moon. Yeah, the ten of swords. It seems like there's a relationship ending here. Or I mean, it, it's ending in terms of the cycle that it was in. Okay, it wasn't pleasant. It wasn't suitable. It wasn't safe for both people anyway. Um, and so something's got to give. <laughs> it's going to change exponentially. And I feel like somebody's going to be pretty surprised. Um, but someone has not really been accepting the truth or, um, honest even. There's a lack of honesty here. And, and more than likely, I want to say dishonesty with oneself. 
Um, it, but maybe on both sides of the fence, or this is just an internal thing that's going on for some of you. I said that in the other reading too, okay? Because it was showing up in different ways. Um, and it's also general, so you know, there's that. <laughs> but um, this tension is going to be ending. Hmm. But first, somebody has to be honest, someone has to. Um, also be open to a conversation here. I feel like somebody hasn't been open to discussing something or open to discussing something openly. Like what? Okay. Yeah. But you will find balance in this situation. I feel like you've already found a groove or whatever you've got going on. I don't know. I feel like some of you, you've already left this in the dust. Yeah, we saw the sun, the chariot, yeah, exactly. We already left this in the dust, the two of wands, you know, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Okay, have to do something differently and take charge with authority. Someone may have been um, abusing their power here, okay, or misusing their power, I mean, whatever, whatever you want to say. the rest of the words. Dun, 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 dun. Closing time. Thanks guys so much for being here with me. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Yeah, what did I say? What do you envision? Somebody's trying to change your vision or something is distracting you. Something's distracting you. It's a relationship. There's, there's something in a relationship that needs resolution. It's distracting you. It's, it's, it's taking you off your path or your vision. Yeah, you have to be humble at the bottom of the deck. One more, please. Hold your vision fixed for me. Um, I don't remember what number that was. Jeans and a t-shirt, okay. I just want to say something real quick. <laughs> Side note. Um, I really despised when I was younger and trying to find something to wear, which is a struggle. Okay, this has nothing to do with the reading, but maybe it does. <laughs> and um, somebody would say, just wear jeans and a t-shirt. What is that? What? What is just jeans and a t-shirt? Can you, do you know? Do you know? I don't think I'll ever figure it out for the rest of my days. I, like, I understand <laughs> the words put together, but I don't know, like, I can't pick out my clothes like that. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to focus. All right, what's, what's the message that you have for the people? I, I just heard um, the number 16, okay? The number 16 may be significant for somebody here. Okay, yeah, it was 16. Okay, I'm getting it again. Hmm. There it is. There's your confirmation. It's time to take action. Be bold. Take charge. Move forward. Set boundaries. Be assertive. Not aggressive. Be clear. Be assertive. Be truthful. And trust yourself. 